Oh no, I'll do it again. These damn MacBooks. Hi everyone, thank you for being here again. Today I wanted to go through my old videos. Uh, maybe some of you have seen my old, old, old videos already. Um, so uh, most of them are with Andorra and I have also some embarrassing videos but that's not what this is about. I wanted to go through my old videos and react to them because everything has changed. Some things, if you look back at them, I will laugh about maybe and a lot of things will also be really nice because I think when you look back in the past a lot of things are really good that you know, maybe don't realize at that moment just as the same as maybe things now are better than you might realize. I'm very excited. Okay, so the reason why I started even uploading videos is because I never really had a hard drive. I wasn't really good at computers or anything like that. So I always thought if I post photos, if I upload videos just on the internet, then I don't need a hard drive and I can always watch them back. I'm of course not going to watch all of them back, just some that might be funny or that I might have a funny story with. So with Andorra, when I got Andorra, everything wasn't that easy and when I got her she didn't jump for like three years or something because her previous owner didn't jump with her. Um, so here, this is the first video. Okay, I must admit this is Matt's laptop. Myself, I don't have a MacBook, so certain things might maybe not be as easy because I think they're extremely difficult, but we'll see. Okay, so this was jumping. Um, pardon me for the quality. Can I do the brightness up? Okay, wait, let's put the volume up so maybe you can hear my voice. I remember I was always very nervous and we, um, where I had Andorra to adjust and the pension at the stable, we always had to ride in the arena from the neighbors. They had these Cavaletti jumps that you put on top of each other. Um, and at one point I remember that I, there were six and I was able to jump five on top of each other and I was always really nervous but I was really happy that we could. But when they fell, they fell like there's not just one pole but the whole thing would fall. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. I see you're really excited. So I asked if it was a photo or a video. You can really see, I showed this map the other day, you can really see that, I don't know, the connection between two us, the two of us is really not there. Like, we're doing our thing, but yeah, it's just very different. So I think always when moments are hard, or just when you try to put some extra time into being with yours, you can definitely get a lot out of it on a way deeper level. Okay, there we go again. Okay, that was nice, nothing special. Oh yeah, actually this one I want to show you. Um, because this was, because I do trick training with Andorra and I started doing it when everything wasn't that easy as I said. Um, and I wanted to teach you the Spanish walk. So the Spanish walk is when the horse moves really nice like this, um, in the walk. When they do it standing, you call it the Jambet. I didn't make the name up, but it's called the Jambet. Um, and I remember that Andorra always only was scraping like this and I already thought oh look she's doing the Spanish walk but she wasn't. So then we had to practice further and further and oh wait maybe you see that I have a pink whip. Don't get me wrong it's not mine. Not that it would be a problem but I remember that my little sister um, started to like horses a little bit so I just started buying things for her so she maybe would like it even more. Which she didn't in the end but that's all right. Um, but this was the first time she really did a higher jambet. Oh, but she would do it for the camera. <laughs> uh, that's just really nice, just to... I think that is something that I do miss sometimes because now or you want to always go on or you want to at least you expect way more and I think back then every little thing you get is really nice so seeing her giving me the first bet and how happy and proud I was about that I definitely think we should stick to that feeling so that's really nice after that long video okay my first self-made trick training video it's called VD and NH with Andorra that meant trick training and natural horsemanship okay so 
This is the first one I have made and I, we always like to make it with very dramatic music. I don't know if I can use this music because before I didn't really care about the things, I didn't even know, but I don't want to get in trouble, so I might have to turn the sound off sadly. But let's see. Oh, these photos a friend of mine, Lisa, took. Um, that was the first photo she ever. Oh, here, wait. The bowing. So, although I did the bowing. Oh, we're going on. MacBook. Although I did the bowing, and as you can see here, maybe, um, I'm using a lot of breath. So, she didn't know it on her whip yet. First photos. You can see I like this on bed. I'm also really happy to see that she still looks really good now. I'm doing the exact things that I now always tell during my lessons not to do. But here I am doing them. Really dramatic, the halter of why not. Let's jump on the horse, hop and say, yeah, okay. Because that's comfortable. But this was really cool because I wasn't really able to ride. <laughs> my happy face. I wasn't really able to ride. Um, even with the bride or with a saddle before because I always would fall off or she would go crazy or would be scared which was of course my own fault because I just needed to change but now it's just so crazy that these moments I could see that um, everything started to change and we did another we tried something else which of course a lot of people would think would be crazy um, but we had fun and that was what mattered so yeah let's go on on the pedestal. I remember this pedestal, I don't know if you can see it here. Um, it's just, I don't know how you say it in English exactly, but it's like, um, let me go back. It's like the, yeah, the chunk of the tree. So they cut trees somewhere in the neighborhood and I was like, this is my chance. I need to get a part of it. So then it was heavy as hell. But then I uh, ended up getting it, and then I had a pedestal where she could step, stand on, hugging. Oh lord, I already did these tricks for so long. I should really um, <laughs> teach new things. Okay, let me see. Oh yeah, this was the first moment when she was uh, laying in the stable, and I was sitting on top of her, and she would get up with me on top of her. Okay, so Andorra's laying down. I was like, keep her busy with food, make sure she stays down. Sit on her. Sorry for the quality. It's terrible. Oh, and these flashes aren't thunder, these people taking photos. Okay, she will get up in a second. I don't think it was the plan, but. Oh, and there we go. Oh, and I ruined it with my edits. Okay. Yeah, happy. <laughs> okay, let's do macho actually. Let's do. Okay. <laughs> so, macho was only one years old when he came to me. I was really like a puppy, very sweet. Was kind of neglected, and somebody I knew um, took him in, and then they found. Yeah, I had to find a new home for him, so then I took him. <laughs> but he did everything quite well straight away. Let's look at macho, still so playing with macho. I remember I have really funny music with this, so if you want to listen to it, you should maybe uh, go back on my channel. Oh, that's my little sister. Here. Oh, macho. Oh, wow. It's not even focused. He is such a puppy, don't you think? He looks a bit like a miniature horse. Oh yeah, and I really liked it because Andorra never really followed me when I would run and he just followed me anyway. <laughs> um, so I just really, really liked that. So as you can see, I'm running for a while. Look at him. I mean, it's very, it's very hard to look at him like this with these pixels. Okay. But we're reacting to old videos, so I can't help it. Andorra the doing the cubette. One, two, three, boop. Okay. okay, let's go to this better quality videos. Special moments with Macho. Okay, he steals the puppy here. Looks already a bit more grown up. Look at this forelock. <laughs> 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 
you know it's a really long forelock and it really looks like a stallion here all the sort how can they call him macho well trust me macho is definitely a macho he does suit his name right now oh yeah this pedestal i made with my granddad now i already don't really really care about what i look like um but there apparently i definitely didn't care about what i looked like oh here um we had a show together with an old friend of mine when we just started doing some shows. Um, she's called Minker. And then we decided to go with the horses through the village with like a microphone to say that we had a show. Oh, there I am screaming we're having a show. What was I thinking? <laughs> These old women are like, oh. Okay, here. Carino. I don't know if everybody knows him, but he was a uh, horse that I was riding and then he got sold eventually and I still struggle with that um, But that's just how it goes and I have had a few more horses from owners that will be sold But it is not my thing. I don't want to do that anymore I'm not somebody to ride a horse and then to sell a horse Not what I need to do for my work, but definitely not what I want to do for my work because if I want to work with a horse, I want to be able to connect and I can't do that if then I will be in a lot of pain because they will be sold. So, yeah, this is Carino. I really like him still. But the best thing was just that I was in the beginning so scared because he was really intense. And then he just did everything. So that was really, really special. And with him, the less I did, the better it went. My goal one day would be with him to, if he ever would come back, because it's really hard, because it's really, really expensive, so that doesn't make it that easy. But if I would able to get him back one day, then I would definitely want to do some shows with him jumping on that rope. Or it doesn't even have to be a show, but I would just like to work with him without any tag. Because the more pressure you put on this horse, the less he wants to do for you. Um, so I think it would be really special if he would come back and then I would be able to do these things. But I'm glad now I think he's in a kind of a good place. So that's what that is. Okay, let's go to another one quick. Let's go back if I can see if I have maybe one more older video. Oh yeah, this was more when I started, when I did some competitions with Andor because that's also what we did. Um, so some jumping, dressage, even eventing. And I remember with her, even when I went to a competition, we really just went to have fun. Because it's not really in my system to go for the results. As long as it feels good, it's fine. So sometimes when we had a prize, because that didn't happen that often, then I would already be home and be called, where are you? Because I didn't even think it was possible or even a thing. Later with some other horses, I had that more, but with Andor, it was just really, really about enjoying the moment. And then I thought, then we have a really nice trip to go to another place and ride a competition. As you can see, she likes to jump. <laughs> we usually had one of the fastest times from that day. I see that I started playing around with some edits, but these edits make it impossible to watch. It's quite high. Oh yeah, I remember, I think this was maybe one of the first times I went to level up. And then I thought, whoa, this is a lot higher, but I think they built quite high. At that moment, to do a whole course was quite high for us. Look at this one. Okay, let's end this with one more. Okay, what should I watch? Oh wait, this was a challenge. I want to show you that one as well. And then everybody was doing this challenge. I don't even know what I was called again. I think you had to drink like something with beer, but I didn't even drink alcohol. So I filled a beer bottle with water. So I just decided to sit the wrong way on the door and do a rear, but it didn't really work out. Let me do that again. Oh, and there. This one with Aunt Teresa I haven't shown yet. Playing with him. Here was still a stallion. Okay. Okay, then now I will pick the very last video. Okay, let's go for this one. This one is has been taken eight years ago, so it's quite a while. Um, and it was one of the first videos we really took in the forest. 
So this was one of these mornings that um, I might have to skip school to get a really nice morning video, but I don't mean that you should do that. Okay, so here you see, right? I'm on macro in the forest. Before I couldn't ride in the forest, I remember I was really angry sometimes when they tried to get me into the forest with her, I was crying, I was screaming. It doesn't matter, but here I am on the neck rope in the forest. Later on, I think I also canter in, let me look. Maybe later. But usually, because it looks quite good, and at this point I still could, I think. But a lot of times when I can't with her neck rope, especially in an environment like this, I just had to wait till she decided to stop, like here, wait. Here it looks really controlled still, and I think here it really was controlled, which I was really surprised about. But to be honest, normally she loves to canter and to go really fast, so usually I just have to let her go a few times and then she will come back. But yeah, that's just the truth. Okay, but here was still quite controlled. I remember this. I was very happy with that. Always wear a helmet, by the way. Oh yeah, I've always called different on YouTube. Okay. So. There were the videos I wanted to react to together with you. I hope you liked watching it. As I said before, just really enjoy the moment. I am really grateful for all these moments and looking back at them is difficult, really nice and all sorts of things at the same time. And I hope you liked it as well. If you would like me to react to certain videos or to other videos that I've made and tell a bit of a backstory to them, please let me know. And I hope you like watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. And then I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye.